This screencast is going to give you instructions on how to make a bar chart, a clustered bar chart showing two different behaviors for a male and a female. And it's also going to show you how to add error bars. So the first thing that I'm going to do is calculate a mean for 11 weeks worth of data. So I type in mean. I'm also going to calculate an error bar, which is specifically the standard error. I'll show you the formulas for those. Let's widen this column. And I will go ahead and calculate a mean for these 11 weeks. So I click on the cell where I want the mean to appear. I go over here. I select average. And it automatically puts in the calculation and the range for the average. So then I can just hit return and that will give me the mean. Once I do that, I can carry over that calculation to the next column and copy and paste it so that it goes into the next two columns for my next behaviors. And you can see that for each of the means, you can see up here, this is calculating the mean for column C, this is calculating a mean for column F, and this one's calculating the mean for column G. So next time when I calculate standard error, you have to write in a formula for this. So to calculate standard error, it's the formula is equals STE, sorry, STDEV.S, standard deviation of sample, parentheses, and, you cal and then you highlight the area, the values that you want to calculate the standard error. And then you need to divide that by the square root SQRT of the sample size. So we type in count and then we select our sample. So it'll create the sample size for that range. And then we close the parentheses and hit return. And that's the standard error. but then you can carry it through so that you're collecting standard error, calculating standard error for all four of those columns. Okay, so now it just comes down to graphing. So I wanna create a bar graph and just to get Excel started, I'm going to highlight two of the means, male and female, and then I'm going to click on insert and I'm gonna come over here, I'm going to select a clustered bar chart, which is the first one. See clustered columns, sorry. And once I click on that, you'll see that it automatically adds those two means to this chart. I'm just move this so that I can work around it. So I've got my two means here. Obviously, this needs a little bit of work because my category names are just one and two, and I want them to be male and female. So you right click, go to select data, and you can see here it just defaults to series one. So let me try and move this so that we can see everything. Wait, hold on, this is off. Mm, let me move it here. No, now we can't see anything. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to leave it here. So we want to go ahead and put the category label names. So I just click on there, highlight male and female. So now when I click okay, you can see that male and female are now the names of the two bars or columns. I'm going to just make these a little larger font size up to 16, which is pretty good for a presentation and make these a little larger. There we go. Okay. So now I need to add the error bars. So to add error bars, you double click on the chart and then under chart design tab, you select error bars. Now Excel will say, Oh, you want standard error. So you click on this. However, when you do that, what Excel does is it puts in the exact same value for the error bars, which is not these values that we had calculated. So I'm just going to undo this so that I can put the correct error bar values. And this time I'm going to go to error bars and go more error bar options. 
and over here on the right you'll see that all these options click custom specify value and you have positive and negative so I'll collect clicked on the my positive error values and of course negative error values will be the exact same plus or minus is standard standard errors and then I click OK so now I have the correct error bars you can see that they're different lengths I can just make it so that the upper portion of the error bar is shown the positive error bar it makes it a little a little neater and I'm also going to make the lines a bit heavier. Go up to three point. So then that way they can be seen a little more clearly. So now I have my positive error bars. It's a little neater since it doesn't have both the positive and negative. Okay, so I also want to add some labels. So I'm going to add a label to my horizontal axis and you can label it whatever you want. I'm just going to label this gender and also I'm going to make um, add my my y-axis label so my vertical label and I'm gonna just label this um, mean percent if you have another um, if this is representing, for example, the number of scans per a certain amount of time, you can use that, whatever those values are representing. So in this case, I'm just going to keep it at mean percent. And again, I want to make this a little larger, the font a little larger. So I go back to my home tab. I'll go back up to 16 and we're all set there. And change that again to 16. There we go. Okay. I also want to just change the name of my chart title so I can double click on that as well. And before I do that, I'm actually going to add a second behavior. So this is all for behavior A. Now I want to add the information for behavior B. So I'm going to double click on the chart, go to select data, and here, notice that this first legend entry is called series. This is actually my behavior A information. So I'm just going to rename that over here and click on this column and say this, I want it to be behavior A. And I'm going to hit plus so I can add a second behavior. Notice how behavior A has been changed. And the second behavior, I'm going to call behavior B. So it's going to give me a second set of bars. I also need to select the Y values. So these would be those mean values that we calculated for our behavior B. So in order to do that, we just highlight this field and then we select those two mean values for the male and the female. And you can see behavior B, horizontal category axis again is male and female, so that's gonna be the same. And then I'm going to click OK, and oh my god, look at that. Now I've got two sets of bars. The blue ones represent behavior A, the orange ones represent behavior B. And again, I'm going to add the standard error bars. So double click, come over here, go to error bars, down to the more options. And notice there's multiple tabs over here on the right, so I need to click on the chart tab. And again, I don't want that fixed value, those same size char um, error bars. So I'm going to go to custom, specify my value for these new standard error bars. Again, the positive and the negative are the same. And I just want the plus to show, so I'm going to click OK. Actually, I'll go back and fix that because it didn't keep that. I'm going to just make these a little heavier. And voila! So I've got my different behaviors represented by the different bars. I, if you want to know what the bars are representing, you can add a legend. So here is my legend for what each bar represents. I'm going to go ahead and again make these a little bigger so we can see them. So blue bar represents behavior A, orange bar represents behavior B. 
those aren't super informative. So, you know, we can actually change the name of the behaviors. And you do that by just changing them in the cell. So I'm gonna just make this walk, for example, and notice how it will change on the chart. And I'm gonna just label this run. So now I've got my run, my walk bars for my male and females. I'm gonna add a title. So this is data for giraffes. So I'm going to just write giraffe activity. And again, I'm gonna just make this a little bigger. Here we go. So the only thing I need to correct is that standard error bar for the orange. And so to do that, I'm gonna just click on that, go back to the plus, and that's how you add error bars.